Now, pack towers usually use for continuous contact of liquid and gas in both counter current and co current flow are vertical columns which have been filled with the packing or devices of a large surface as shown in the figure. The liquid is distributed over and trickled down through the packed bag, exposing a surface or to contact the gas. Now let us look at the pack tower, how it looks. It, as I told you, it is a vertical unit and it has got a variety of the internal devices. First thing at the bottom, it must have a liquid seal and a liquid outlet. Above the liquid seal, there is a gas inlet and above the gas inlet, there is a packing support which will allow gas and liquid to pass through but would not allow packing to drop through. After certain height, we have got a liquid redistributor because packing loses their efficiency after certain height. As we go above, there is a packing retaining grid is there because other sometimes due to the surge in the gas velocity, packing may be taken away from the column which we do not want it. So there is a pack, packing support grid is there over which there is a liquid distribution system is there and then we have got a gas outlet system. Now let us look at various aspects. The tower packing or fill should offer the following characteristics. One, provide for large interfacial surface between the liquid and gas. The surface of the packing per unit volume of a packing space should be large but not in microscopic sense. Lumps of coke, for example, have a large surface thanks to their porous structure, but most of these would be covered by the trickling liquid film. The specific packing surface AP in any event is almost always greater than the interfacial liquid gas surface to possess desirable fluid flow characteristics. This ordinarily means that the fractional void volume epsilon or the fraction of empty space in the pack bed should be large. The packing must permit passage of large volumes of fluid through the small tower cross section without loading or flooding, which we'll discuss later on, and with a low pressure drop for the gas. Furthermore, gas pressure drops should be largely of the result of the skin friction if possible, since this is more effective than the form drag in promoting high values of the mass transfer coefficient. Three, be chemically inert to fluids being proce processed. Four, have structural strength to permit easy handling and installation. Five, represent low cost. Now, packings are of two major types, random and regular. Random packings. Random packings are simply dumped into the tower during installation and allowed to fall at random. In the past, such readily available material as broken stone, gravel, or lumps of coke were used, but although inexpensive, they are not desirable for reasons of small surface and poor fluid flow characteristics. Random packing most frequently used at present are manufactured, that the dressing rings are the hollow cylinder of diameter ranging from 6 to 100 millimeter or more. They may be made of a chemical stoneware or porcelain, which are useful in contact with most liquid except alkalis and hydrofluoric acid of carbon, which is useful except strongly oxidizing atmosphere of metals or of plastics. So here we can see the A is the racing ring, B is a lashing ring, C is a part partition ring, D and E are the saddles, F is the tellerate and G is a pole ring. Regular packings, these are of great variety. The counter flow type already considered are a form of regular packing. The regular packing offer the advantage of low pressure drop for gas and greater possible flow of 
liquids, usually at the expense of more costly installation than random packing. Stack racing rings are economically practical only in very large sizes. There are several modifications of the expanded metal packing. Wood grid or hurdle are inexpensive and frequently used where large void volumes are required as with tar bearing gases from coke ovens or liquids carrying the suspended solid particles. Now next topic is packing support. Open space at the bottom of the tower is necessary for ensuring good distribution of the gas into the packing. Consequently, the packing must be supported above the open space. The support must, of course, be sufficiently strong to carry the weight of a reasonable height of packing and it must have ample free area to allow for flow of liquid and gas with a minimum of restriction. A bar grid of the shorts can be used, but specially designed support which provide separate passageways for gas and liquid are preferred whose free area of flow is of the order of 85% and which can be made in various modifications and of many different materials including metals, ceramics and plastic. From the figure you can see that gas is entering through the convoluted area of the packing support whereas the liquid is leaving at the horizontal area of the packing support. Thus they are having a different flow area and so we can have considerably large flow area for a gas also and for liquid also or this will prevent flooding to take place at the packing support. Liquid distribution, the importance of adequate initial distribution of the liquid at the top of the packing, dry packing is of course completely ineffective for mass transfer and various devices are used for liquid distribution. Spray nozzles generally result in too much entrainment of liquid in the gas to be useful or a ring of perforated pipe can be used in small tower for large diameter distributor of the type can be used and many other arrangements are available. Now this is a diagram which shows if you got a multiple point of irrigation then practically entire packed height is irrigated. Whereas if you got a single point of irrigation on the left hand side diagram, what we have got a large area of dry packing. Now this is the diagram of the weird type of liquid distribution. We have got a central trough and where liquid enter and also leaves through the various slots. Now from this slot it falls onto another set of distribution trays wherein the from number of points a liquid will go into the tower thus we have got a properly irrigated tower. Packing retainers these are necessary when gas velocities are high and they are generally desirable to guard against lifting of packing during a sudden gas surge. Heavy screens or bars may be used for heavy ceramic packing. Heavy bar plates resting freely on the top of the packing may be used. For plastics and other lightweight packing, the retainer is attached to the tower wall. Countercurrent flow of a liquid and gas through packings. For most random packings, the pressure drop suffered by the gas is influenced by the gas and liquid flow rates in a manner similar. The slope of the line for dry packing is usually in the range of 1.8 to 2 indicating turbulent flow for most practical gas velocities. <clears throat> At a fixed gas velocity, the gas pressure drop increases with increased liquid rate principally because of the reduced free cross section available for flow of gas resulting from the presence of the liquid. The liquid holder that is the quantity of liquid contained in the pack bed is reasonably constant with changing gas velocity, although it increases with liquid rate. 